what's going on everybody it's reclaimer hope you're doing well hope you're staying safe today i'm coming to you with a video that i know is pretty duplicative of what everyone else is doing on youtube right now especially now that we all pretty much have to work from home but i thought it'd be cool if i showed you my home office setup yes it's a home office setup video I'm sure if you're like me, you've probably been checking out maybe a bunch of other videos, trying to get ideas for how you could maybe make your home office a little more productive or a little more conducive to the work that you do. So hopefully this video gives you a better idea of at least what I do, what I find helpful, and maybe it'll give you some ideas. I wanna preface this by saying that if you're interested in any of the stuff that I'm showing here, you can check out my kit.co link, which is gonna be in the description. I'll probably have it up here in the video somewhere as well. And that lists everything that I have for my home office setup. I'll also have on there some other builds as well, like what's in my gaming computer, what do I use for my video gear, all of that fun stuff. So, so you can definitely check out my kit.co link, see what I actually have listed here that I'm gonna talk about in the video. There may also be some things in there that aren't in the video just because they might not be as important to mention on a video and that's fine. If you're interested in any of that stuff, you know, there is an affiliate link there. Cool, great, thanks for the support, I appreciate it. Um, but at least it gives you maybe some ideas if you're looking for more details anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's talk about the computers that drive everything, right? So for my home office setup, I'm actually using three, yes, three different computers. So first I'm using my work-issued laptop with a work-issued docking station. And that is connected to my monitor, my main monitor, ultra-wide, which we'll talk about. But I'm using my work issued laptop. I'm using a mid 2018 MacBook Pro 13 inch with touch bar, and I'm using a custom built gaming computer. I'm not gonna focus on the work computer because it's a work computer. It is what it is. They give it to me, I didn't get to pick it out. It's just is what it is, right? Um, for the other two computers though, let's talk about the MacBook Pro. So I've had this, I've had a MacBook Pro for quite a while. I've had different models of it, but I've always had a MacBook Pro in my arsenal for about the last three, three or four years. I still play some PC games every once in a while, and I still need to use Adobe Premiere and the video card that I have to do my renders every once in a while. So I still have my gaming computer set up, but I honestly don't use it all that much. Instead, I'm using my MacBook Pro as my daily driver. So I'm using that for productivity, most of my content creation, most of my content consumption, and, and just all around use. So that's what I am using right now. Eventually, I'm gonna to upgrade to the 16 inch, but for now, this is what I've got. So all three of those computers, the work laptop with docking station, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, and my custom built gaming computer are hooked up to two different monitors. The first monitor is a 3440 by 1440p, 34 inch ultra wide monitor. That's the um, Acer Predator X34, which is directly behind me. Okay, so that is the main monitor that I use. I love having an ultra wide because I like being able to really have a lot of windows open and be able to do multitasking um, without the need to have reduced uh, real estate for, for, my, for my work. So the ultra wide aspect ratio, I've, I've really enjoyed the last several years. I've had this monitor since 2016 uh, and I, I really do enjoy it. I will be honest, I am missing the Retina display that is on the MacBook Pro. So at some point I'm gonna look into saying, okay, do I keep the ultra wide and maybe look at the LG 5K 2K monitor? Do I do two 4K monitors? I'm not sure, but I'll be honest, I am missing the, the Retina sharpness. Um, it, it, it's leaving a little bit to be desired. So something I'm gonna have to look into in the future. But for now, the Acer X34 is my main primary monitor. My secondary monitor, which is over here, is an LG 27 inch 4K monitor. I picked this up uh, last year, about a little over a year ago now, and I picked that up primarily to do uh, 4K gaming through my Xbox One X, which is also on my desk. Um, I do console game quite a bit, and I know, you know, a console peasant, what have you, sorry, you know, like, it's just what I, what I tend to do. So PC gaming, I still do it, but I don't do it as much. A lot of my friends and I, we play games on Xbox One. It, it's just kind of what we do. I'll spend a lot of time, when I am gaming, I'll play Destiny 2, um, COD Modern Warfare, Battlefield, and I do all of that through the Xbox One X. And I wanted to have a good size 4K monitor to run that. So in addition to using the 4K monitor for my Xbox One X, I also have my MacBook Pro plugged into it and my gaming computer plugged into it. 
So I'm using three inputs on the, um, on the 4K display. So right now you may be able to see behind me that uh, it's running the screensaver on my MacBook Pro, right, on both monitors. So you can see I have both of them switched over to the MacBook Pro for now. So we talked about the computers, we talked about the displays. Let's talk about some of the peripherals and some of the other accoutrement, right? So for my MacBook Pro, the first thing that I, I wanna showcase on, on this setup is the CalDigit USB-C Pro Dock. Now, I have a video about this. I'll, I'll put a card up here somewhere on the screen. I have a video that I recently posted about this. I purchased this dock not that long ago, and I love the thing. Um, it allows me to run two 4K 60 hertz displays off of the dual display port in the back. I have multiple USB ports, a card reader, a headphone jack, and gigabit ethernet built into this dock. I love this thing. It's It's been a, a lifesaver, and it's really helped me turn my MacBook Pro into a daily driver. Um, so my MacBook Pro is sitting on a Rain Design M Tower vertical stand. Um, so this I got off of Amazon not that long ago. I just wanted something to give me back some desk space so I didn't have the MacBook Pro taking up uh, a lot of horizontal space on my desk. So instead, it's standing up. It's a stand for your laptop. Pretty self-explanatory. But I do like it because it comes with different inserts, so different models, and you don't necessarily need to use it for just a MacBook or a MacBook Pro. You can use these with other laptop devices. It's just marketed as a stand for a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, so there you go there. So in addition to the three computers and the two monitors and the dock and the stand, I also have my iPad Pro 11 inch. I believe this is technically considered the first generation. Um, had it for had it for about two years now. I use this mainly when I'm traveling. I don't honestly typically bring my MacBook Pro with me when I'm traveling for work uh, because I have my work laptop with me. But when I'm lounging around the couch or I need something to take notes on and I don't feel like typing and I wanna draw or do some markup or annotations, I'll use the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil and, and I'll have that available. So most of the time you're not gonna find it on my desk 24 seven. It's usually gonna be out and about with me throughout the house. All right, so from an audio perspective, I'm not really where I wanna be with my audio game just yet. However, I've got a lot of different options that I have at my disposal. So for the most part, I'm using my Apple AirPods. Uh, these are not the AirPods, AirPods Pro, they're the AirPods. Okay, and I'm using those for listening to pretty much everything and doing conference calls throughout the day. They're paired to my MacBook Pro, they're paired to my iPad, they're paired to my work laptop with Bluetooth. Um, I, I use it for pretty much everything. Uh, the only exception to that is I will use noise canceling headphones when I've got a noisy environment going on and I wanna focus. So I'll honestly just put those on and throw on some white noise. I'm using a Sony, um, some Sony Bass Pro uh, noise canceling headphones. Um, so I'll use it for that and I'll also use those noise canceling headphones when I'm doing uh, video editing. So I, I have that at my disposal as well. Eventually I'd like to get a good studio pair of over the ear headphones, but for now I'm using the, the AirPods for, for practically everything. So you're always gonna pretty much find those on my desk and they're usually gonna be next to my Mophie wireless um, charging puck, which is on my desk. I have it all set up there. I have it within arm's reach so I can charge my AirPods between calls or I can give my phone a quick charge. Um, so it's really nice to have that here at my desk. So then behind me, I also have a Hue Go uh, wireless and slash wired um, Hue bulb, right? So that's, let's see if we can get it in frame here. Uh, yeah, it's that little thing right there. Okay, so I have that. I purchased this probably hmm, close to a year ago uh, just for some ambient lighting throughout the house. And then when I started to update my desk setup, I brought it upstairs here so I could have some nice ambient lighting behind me when I'm doing videos or when I'm playing games or if I need extra light when I'm doing, you know, I'm reading or I'm doing some work on the computer. All right, and then finally, what I wanna talk about um, are my peripheral devices that I use for input. So I ended up getting the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and the Logitech MX keys. The one thing that really drew me into these devices was that you can pair them with three different devices at once. So I'm going from having to have unifying receivers all over the place or having to plug in USB keyboards and mice into different devices. I've gone from all that to just having one wireless mouse, one wireless keyboard, 
They're built extremely well. They offer a ton of customization for all your devices. The Logi Options software that works with this just seems to work great. Um, and it is really built with productivity in mind. So with a press of a button, I can switch between my Mac, my gaming PC, and my work PC, and I don't have to do anything. They're all paired via Bluetooth or a unifying receiver, and they work. They work well. The amount of customization that you get out of the buttons is astounding. Sky's kind of the limit with these things. I'm so happy that I have these two Logitech devices. I think they did an amazing job and I have nothing but good things to say about them. So if you have questions about those, please let me know. I'd be happy to, to talk more about those two devices. And for the most part, that's it. You're gonna find that, you know, yeah, I've got different monitor stands. So, you know, I can articulate the monitors and move them all around, do whatever I wanna do there. And you'll find a random assortment of different cables around my desk. I have all my cable management done underneath the desk. I've got USB hubs. I've got an extra uh, power supply under there. And that's my productivity setup. That's my home office setup. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I hope you got maybe some ideas as to how you could modify your home office setup, or maybe you like something that you see here and you wanna learn more about it. I just, I just hope it gave you some good ideas. So that said, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you wanna learn more about what I use in my home office setup, you can go to my kit.co link, which is gonna be in the description and I'll, I'll see if I can put it up here in editing. <laughs> and you can see everything that I have in my, my home office setup. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can certainly you know click on those links. Uh, and, and if you're interested in purchasing, I do get some support through that through Amazon Affiliate. So I thank you for that. Another thing I started doing is if you enjoy my content and you wanna buy me a beer, you can go ahead and see the link in the description and you can actually buy me a beer and I would appreciate the support. I do like my craft brews. And then finally, as always, if you have questions, comments, concerns, you wanna learn more about anything in particular that I talked about, or you wanna tell me about other content you'd like to see, leave a comment. You can like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe so you know when I have other videos to post. I appreciate all that support. And that's it, that's it for the video. So until next time, it's Reclaimer. Take care, we'll talk to you soon.